In this part of logic gates, we will learn exclusive NOR gate. In the last lecture, we completed exclusive OR gate. Exclusive NOR gate is also written as X NOR or we can write it as X NOR. X NOR gate is obtained by complementing the output of XOR gate. So first we will make XOR gate. I will make two input XOR gate. This is the symbol of XOR gate. The two inputs are A and B. The output of this XOR gate will go to this inverter and the output of this inverter is the output of the XNOR gate and it is equal to A XNOR B. This is the representation for XNOR. In case of XOR, we have plus inside the circle and in case of XNOR, we have a dot inside the circle. Now we will move to symbol. Symbol of XOR gate. First we will make this symbol of XOR gate and to represent this inverter I will put a small circle at the end of XOR gate or we can say bubble at the end of XOR gate A B output is Y. This symbol is traditional symbol. This symbol is traditional symbol for XNOR gate. We also have IEEE symbol for XNOR gate. It looks something like this equals to 1 and then I will place a small bubble the two inputs and the output. The symbol is IEEE symbol. IEEE symbol. Now we will move to truth table. The next thing is truth table. Let's make truth table for two input XNOR gate. The two inputs are A, B. Output is Y. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the four possible combinations. Now there are two ways to find out the output Y. It is equal to A X nor B and we have to expand this. The expansion is A and B or A complement and B complement. Now you can simply put the values of A and B in this expression and you will have your output Y or we can simply complement the output of X or gate. If you remember the table from the last presentation you can simply complement it and you will have the output Y but I will use this expression to find out Y. A is 0, B is 0 so we will have 0 and 0 or 1 and 1 so 0 or 1 and this is equal to 1. So we have 1 here and in the same way we will have 0, 0, 1. So this is the truth table for X NOR gate and uh, you can see when A is equal to B output is equal to 1. When A is equal to B output is equal to 1 and uh, when A is not equal to B output is equal to 0. For these two cases, A and B are different and output is equal to 0. XNOR follows the commutative and associative law. The next point, XNOR follows the commutative and associative laws. This is important point. Now we will move to enable and disable for the XNOR gate. Enable and disable for the XNOR gate. To find out enable and disable, we have to make the truth table. So I will copy this truth table quickly. And for the last combination, we have one. I will first analyze these two cases and for this you can see y is 1 output is 1 
when b is 0 output is 0 when b is 1 so this 0 is acting as enable 0 is acting as enable and we have inverter because y is complement of b for the last two cases when a is 1 y is 0 when b is 0 y is 1 when, when b is 1 so we can say that we have enable buffer because output y is equal to b so this is all for enable and disable we have already completed enable and disable for the other gates so it is not difficult to find out enable and disable for x nor gate so i will not invest more time in enable and disable and will quickly move to properties of x nor gate these properties are very important because you will have questions based on these properties in your competitive exam in first property in first property we have to find out a x nor a a x nor a complement a x nor 0 and a x nor 1 we have to find out values for this and uh, I will use this expression y equals to a x nor b and uh, the expansion is a and b or a complement and b complement we will use this to find out values for property number one a x nor a when we have similar inputs let's see what we have in this case y equals to a x nor a so we have a and a just replace b or a complement and a complement a and a is a a complement A is A complement so we have 1 because A or A complement is equal to 1 so we have 1 for A x nor A now we will move to A x nor A complement y equals to A x nor A complement we have A and A complement or A complement and A complement and then it's complement A and A complement is 0 and here we have a complement and a so again we are going to get 0 0 or 0 is equal to 0 so we will have 0 for a x nor a complement I will solve a x nor 0 and you have to solve a x nor 1 by yourself a x nor 0 a and 0 or a complement and complement of 0 is 1 so we have 0 or a complement this will give me a complement and uh, for a x nor 1 I will write down the answer directly which is a so this is the first property now we will move to second property we will move to second property for this I will clear this portion in second property we have to deal with same repeated inputs we already know a x nor a is equal to 1 from here a x nor a x nor a we have to find out I can put this equal to 1 so we have 1 x nor a 1 x nor a and 1 x nor a is equal to a so I can generalize this I can generalize this for n inputs if we have n same repeated inputs then the output can be a or 1 and the output depends on n whether n is even or odd we have output equals to a when n is odd and we have output equals to 1 when n is even so this is the second property now we will move to third property XOR and XNOR are not always complement they are complement only when the number of input is even and if we have odd number of inputs XOR and XNOR are same let me write this down XOR and XNOR are complement of each other complement when we have even number of inputs and they are same XNOR and XOR are same when we have odd number of inputs 
so this is very very important point this is very very important point xor and xnor are complement of each other when we have even number of inputs and xor and xnor are same when we have odd number of inputs for example for example a xor b xor c is equal to a x nor b x nor c because we have odd number of inputs so they are equal and if we have a x or a x or b x or c x or d we have four inputs which is even so we can say that a x nor b x nor c x nor d and its complement is equal to a x or b x or c x or d because we have we have even inputs in this case and here we have odd inputs this is very important point and we can easily prove this we can easily prove this so let's do it quickly we have a x nor b x nor c let's say a x nor b is equal to capital x so we will have x x nor c and we already know that we already know that a x nor b is equal to a and b or a complement and b complement we will use this this will give us x and c or x complement and c complement x is a x nor b a x nor b then it's complement because we have x complement and c complement now we already know for two inputs x nor is complement of x or so we can write a x nor b as a x or b and its complement and c and this we can write as a x or b and c complement and let's say a x or b is equal to capital y so we have y complement and c or y and c complement now if you remember the last presentation i told you for xor operation a xor b it is equal to a and b complement or a complement and b and if we compare the two cases we'll find it is equal to y xor c and y is a xor b so we have a xor b xor c so a x nor b x nor c is equal to a x or b x or c this is all for this lecture now we will move to homework problem there are two homework problems in this part homework problem in first homework problem we have two x or gates and the output output of each xor gate is acting as the input of one xnor gate this is xnor gate and the inputs are the inputs are a b complement a complement b and you have to find out output y you have to find out output y once you have your answer post it in comment section in second homework problem y is equal to a x nor a x nor a x nor a x nor a five times a x nor a complement x nor a and you have to simplify the function y you have to simplify the function y so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one